Hi again folks Welcome to Yeah, well, well I, I've, I've, I've already introduced myself in the previous video that, that I just made which is the operation review So in continuing now, we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you an updated tour of my man cave First we have my Star Wars curtains I did this, I've, I've done this for you in my very first video, which, which ended up being in parts, in seven parts actually, because I, my camera, the camera on my phone had run out of storage, well, kept running out of storage, so. So hopefully this one out of all the others I've, I've, I've made since turns out better. Yeah, so here are my Star Wars curtains. You see here we have a couple of Stormtroopers, Yoda, Boba Fett, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, Luke Skywalker. This is one out of a bunch of purchases that I got from Amazon and again as I've been saying in my board game reviews for my collectible review series the prices go uh, up and down so not sure the exact amount I paid for this. On top we have my well a few of my posters that are on the, on this wall anyway. From from the, from left to right, we have Star Wars Episode Four: uh, New Hope, Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back, Epi Episode Six: Return of the Jedi, Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. These four are out of a bunch of posters that I got all from Amazon. Episode 7, The Force Awakens, Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker. Here we have a couple of um, blueprint posters that my mother had sent for me. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> my Star Wars collage logo that's that's an, that was another uh, Amazon purchase that I had bought yeah and here's my couch where I relax on when I come here when I want to chill and relax because this is not just my office it's also my the lounge it's not just my office it's also my lounge and part of where I make my videos for you right over here we have on the shelf on these shelves we have the board games that I have already reviewed for you the Star Wars editions of classic board games sorry Trouble, Operation, M Monopoly, and Risk. By the way, the Monopoly version. Um, it is the 40th anniversary edition celebrating 40 years of the Star Wars franchise, which began with A, a New Hope back in 1977. This year will be 45 years, so happy, happy post- Happy belated birthday, Star Wars. On the, on the top shelf, we have a couple of Star Wars cans, a Star Wars cup, the Millennium Falcon, which I've already reviewed for you as well, and a few Star Wars mugs. 
and also the instructions that came with the Millennium Falcon that I did not remove from the top shelf to review for you. But but I still hope that I still hope that you enjoyed the I hope that you still enjoyed the review of the Millennium Falcon. Here we have a set of Star Wars stickers. Here we have the bingo cage set and a couple of empty photo albums that I have been propping my phone up against. Well, I've, I have propped it up against these albums here. For one of my videos, which is the Monopoly 40th Anniversary Edition. Not much in this tiny, in this shelf here, just a small yellow photo album, an empty photo case that had a bunch of pictures from my childhood, a few of my childhood pictures, right in here, and hopefully you can see it because it, it's a bit dark, but and here we have a couple of more photo more photo albums with a bunch of DVDs. Down here we have some board games. And here we have another photo album with two boxes of my Star Wars LED lights. My TV which I don't use. <laughs> I had the PlayStation 4 but I gave it away because for the time that I've had it, the majority of time spent using it was playing Uncharted 4 and and so, so, so certain games you need to have access to the internet too but I never got around to playing those. So in this shelf, we have um, the Journey to the Rise of Skywalker uh, book, which I reviewed for you alongside the Kylo Ren lightsaber a few months back. Some loose CDs, my stereo with speakers. Come on camera, focus. Yet another Star Wars collage. If my camera would, if, there we go. Star Wars collage. Uh, the other one. This shelf over here used to be on this side. Because uh, up until now, my display, my main display here was in a huge mess. And no matter how had I tried to fix it up, it wouldn't turn out properly. So I moved er er everything to this shelf here. Before we get to, before we get to this, you see we have the Hero Masters uh, set uh, consisting of uh, Darth Vader and, and Luke, which I've already re reviewed for you. All of these things that I'm uh, about to show you here uh, are going to be reviewed as well, so stay on the lookout for those. We have these Solo and Rogue One DVDs, some, well two loose um, Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures comic books, Darth Vader and Luke which I've already opened up because the Darth Vader one was loose underneath so I opened those up but the Chewbacca one is still in box. Well. Still in its packaging. My COVID-19 mask, which I've already used a few times, but considering that it's a Star Wars mask, I put it on display as well. This is a container for my Darth Vader watch that my aunt had bought for me. Bought and sent 
uh, bought for me when she came to visit a few years back. My Darth Vader wallet and the Solo a Star Wars Story a Imperial Battle Pack Lego set. My box for my Star Wars puzzle, which I'm going to show you shortly. This photo of this picture of, of Ray was actually is actually the back of a cereal box that was cut out. Star Wars phone keys, R2D2 phone keys that I had started using. But again, I put that on display as well because it's a Star Wars item. My Return of the Jedi uh, film cell, which I've already reviewed for you. Luke Skywalker statue, Chewbacca Galaxy of Adventures in its packaging, as I mentioned earlier. Star Wars Band-Aid, Chewbacca on front, Darth Vader in, in, in back, but you can switch it either way. Yoda pop figure. My Star Wars Stormtrooper Shiva, electric Shiva. Well, it's a Shiva. <laughs> With the instructions on the front. My Star Wars books. I had started reading um, Vision of the Future, but not knowing that it came after Spectre of the Past. By the way, shout out to Star Wars Reading Club and still waiting for my Sita, whose name, is, whose real name is Shannon. I don't know how long she's been, <laughs> I don't know how long she's been waiting for for her Sita, but she still is. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, so we have some loose photographs on the bottom here. On the on the bottom left shelf. Couple of loose photographs that came with the Star Wars Episode Eight soundtrack. An empty cho uh, chocolate box. R2D2 bag that my cousin Hussamid that my cousin Hussamadeen had bought for me a few years back ago during the one of uh, one of my family's annual Eid gift exchanges. This was back in 2015. Thanks a bunch, Hussam, I really appreciate it. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace poster. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones poster. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith poster, Solo, a Star Wars story poster. Taking a look at the main uh, display now, we have my Star Wars puzzle, 1000 pieces, holy crap. I don't know how... Hmm. A thousand pieces. Usually, uh, no, um, I, I don't know how many of you enjoy putting together 1,000 pieces. I know you, you would much prefer less, but yeah. See, we have the Death Star, the Millennium Falcon, some TIE Fighters, X-Wings, uh, Star Destroyers. Stormtroopers, C-3PO, R2-D2, Han, Luke, Leia, Chewbacca, Obi-Wan, Darth Vader, a.k.a. Anakin. Here we have a few of my childhood uh, toys. Well, these... These are not specifically them. Um, the ones I had before I had opened up and played with. We have the Crowd Control, Stormtrooper, Power of the Force, Snow Trooper. Shadows of the Empire, Vida and she's, uh, Prince Shizo set with comic book. My Jabba Glob, which I already reviewed for you. Star Wars Metro Machines. Figrin Dan, Scout Trooper and Bib Fortuna. Very quickly to wrap this up, um, because my phone is almost, almost out of storage, we have some books, uh, like Kylo Ren, like Ciba, a few, a few, few figures, 
Captain Phasma, Executioner, C2B5, Last Jedi Soundtrack, Dwarves, Darth Vader, Watch, 